Hello friends, as part of CBSC 12th board exams, this particular question came and some of the students felt this question was a little bit tough. So let us try to solve it using trigonometric substitution. We have to find out the integral of 1 by x square root of x plus a by x minus a. Now we can solve this problem in more than one method. In this particular video, we will try to solve it by using a trigonometric substitution that x equals to a secant theta. I have a little bit of obsession towards trigonometric substitution in integration. Whenever I see a problem, first I look at like, can I solve it by using trigonometric substitution? Sometimes it looks foolish, but somehow I don't know, I have to maybe overcome that obsession for now that helped me to solve this easily we can take x equals to secant theta then what happens let us see dx will be equals to a secant theta tan theta d theta and let's go ahead and substitute them we have 1 by x is a secant theta and square root of a secant theta plus a divided by a secant theta minus a multiply with dx which is a secant theta tan theta and d theta. We can cancel a secant theta a secant theta then this will become integral of square root of a into secant theta plus 1 divided by a into secant theta minus 1 multiply with tan theta d theta. Let us simplify this. For that we can cancel a and a. Then we can write down this is equals to integral of square root of. Let us do something like rationalization. We will say secant theta plus 1 into secant theta plus 1. So that will become whole square. And here it will become secant square theta minus 1. What are we trying to do here? Multiply with secant theta plus 1 inside root. And here we have tan theta d theta. Now this becomes secant theta plus 1 whole square and square root will cancel. So we are just left out with secant theta plus 1. And in the denominator we have square root of secant square theta minus 1 that is tan theta. And here we have again tan theta d theta. So we can cancel tan theta tan theta. So our answer simply is integral of question whatever is asked is simply integral of secant theta plus 1 d theta. Now what is the integral of secant theta? Log of secant theta plus tan theta plus what is integral of d theta? That is nothing but theta plus c. Let us substitute now. What is secant theta? Secant theta equals to x by a. That means theta equals to secant inverse x by a. Now, next we need tan theta. What is tan theta? Tan theta is secant square theta minus 1 under root. That means whatever we got here, that will be nothing but secant square theta, which is nothing but x square by a square minus 1, which is equals to square root of x square minus a square divided by a. Now let's go ahead and substitute these values. So in the last step we can write down that is equals to log of secant theta that is x by a plus tan theta that is root of x square minus a square by a plus theta that is secant inverse of x by a plus c. Now you can do one more small thing here. This logarithm we can just write it as log of a minus log of b and we can take out this a value also there. Let us see how we can do that. In the next step I can write down that is equals to logarithm of 
x plus square root of x square minus a square plus secant inverse of x by a. This log of a whatever is there that will write it as part of our new constant. So it will become c dash here. And your final answer is log of x plus root of x square minus a square plus secant inverse of x by a. The same answer you can give in terms of tan inverse here if you want. And this can be given in different ways instead of log of x plus root of x square minus a square. But finally the solution is the same. So let's have a simple look at this and try to understand what is given to us, what we have done. We have been asked to find out the integral of 1 by x. 1 by x square root of x plus a by x minus a. We have taken x equals to a secant theta. dx equals to a secant theta tan theta d theta. So, we substituted. What we understood is we are simply getting secant theta plus 1. Integral of secant theta is log secant theta plus tan theta and integral of 1 is theta. But what is secant theta, tan theta, theta, everything we can get because we started with x equals to a secant theta. So finally, our answer is log of x plus root of x square minus a square plus secant inverse x by a plus c can be also written as log of x plus root of x square minus a square. I can also change this into tan inverse. That's very easy for me because I know if I take this triangle theta, secant theta is x by a, secant theta is hypotenuse by adjacent. So x by a, so this guy is square root of x square minus a square. So tan inverse of root x square minus a square divided by a plus c. That is also fine. So we can do like that also. That is the integral of 1 by x square root of x plus a by x minus a. This problem given in the set 1 I think and uh, some of the students felt it was tough but I think it was there in exemplar or somewhere maybe not sure how they have done it but this is the way I thought we can do it. So just let me know your feedback on that. Thanks for your time and support. Bye for now.